happy to have you join me today. I am super excited to share this layout with you because it turned out so nice and I just, I think it's fabulous. I'm going to be working with my Reminisce Gearhead kit collection that I put together from A Cherry on Top. And I'm going to start with matting my photo. So I'm going to be creating a mixed media layout that is going, it turns out so good you guys, so good. Just wait and see, I love it. I'm gonna start by just matting my photo. So I'm matting my photo in uh, that light blue kind of geary paper and then this black and white for a pop. So what I'm doing here is this is a piece of uh, hot press watercolor paper my very favorite mixed media paper. I also uh, like Vicki Booten Foundations paper. It's a little harder to find though. Um, and what I did there was just mark where my photo is going. And the reason I'm marking where my photo is going is because I don't feel the need to put paint or anything underneath my photo. I'm just taking this mask. So this is a mask from Clear Scraps. And I put just a tiny little bit of adhesive to the back and I'm adhering it to my, right onto my background. Now I'm taking this paper, this is a metallic copper paint from Prima, and look at that gorgeousness. Oh! So I want a dry brush look, and I want it to look kind of messy and just fun. So I'm gonna do this twice. I'm gonna do it at the top left and then at the bottom right. And look at that. Oh, it's turned out so awesome, you guys. These were some older products from the Cherry on Top Shop, and I'm gonna link them all below because I'm pretty sure they're all still available, uh, but I don't know if you can find them anywhere else. Uh, so this is the copper paint. Look at that copper paint. Oh, I am in love with this paint. It's called Steampunk Copper, and it's just Prima Art Alchemy acrylic paint, and it's so cool. And it dries crazy quick. So in the time it took me to like clean my stencil, it dried. Now I am taking this stamp. This is from Prima. All the products I'm using will be linked below to the shop at a cherry on top. This is a Thinabar stamp from Prima. These stamps are fabulous. They're like $2.50 a stamp. Um, they're really, really they're just lovely. There's all kinds of different textures and little things you can use as a background. This is a brick one and it adds just the right bit of interest to my layout. So I'm just stamping it kind of around the stenciling and then letting it kind of go off the page as you can see there. And that just kind of makes my design um, a little bit more coher coherent, kind of, I don't like it blends a little bit better I think. I really like the addition of those bricks. And then it also is going to blend into my photo because there's a brick wall behind my sun in the photo we're going to use. So just wipe that up off my media mat and this is just Ulta New Permanent Black Ink. It's the black ink, I, black ink I use for everything. And as you can see that's a brand new ink pad because if you watched my video the last little addition that I'm going to add to my layout is some shimmers night moves or to my background that's my layout but to my background and I'm just going to do some black splatters in those two corners and then I'm going to set this paper off to dry completely before I come back to it um, the Ulta New Permanent Ink does take a bit to dry that acrylic paint dried in like a hot second but I know that the shimmers are going to take a little bit to dry too so I'm just going to set that off to the side and then we'll come back and get back to creating my layout so it took about a half hour till I felt like it was really good and dried and cured. And that was totally fine because I went ahead and I put some laundry in the washer and, you know, did some housework. Yay! So I'm going to go ahead and add my photo just right where I want it. Um, I am going to attach everything using, oh, my husband. <laughs> oh, okay. So the day that I did this, I had a really bad headache. And he was getting me Advil. <laughs> so, you know, that's what he does when I'm like, I have a really bad egg. So this is that large alphabet tile that I got from a cherry on top. Um, I got one for my 
in my son's initial and one in my youngest oldest son and one of my youngest sons. And it's going to act as my title and it's going to be right there. And so I want to balance it. So I have the large M that's going to act as my title. I have my photo and then I want to put something down at the bottom that's going to uh, balance that larger element. And so what I'm going to use is this wood flourish hexagon from Kaiser Craft. And then I got these awesome, okay, these are also Prima. They're these mechanical gears and they're like rusty. <laughs> they're so cool for boy layouts, you guys. Like the coolest things ever. Um, they're not thick. They're heavy. They feel heavy, but they're not thick. And they're awesome. I love them. My husband just brought me tea. I have been having some health issues recently and have been feeling absolutely miserable. So, um, when I sit down to create, uh, my husband who knows that, you know, I'm, I'm shooting a video for YouTube or I'm working for a design team project, he's super sweet and stops and brings me things while I scrapbook. So I'm going to use the offcuts. So I used this gear paper, the some of it for the background on my photo. And now I'm going to fussy cut some of these gears and I'm gonna pull in some of these colors. So some of that blue and some of that orange. And I'm just gonna rough cut them and then fussy cut them off camera. And that took very little time. But as an aside, look at the rusty gears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's seven of them, and I almost used every single one of them on this layout because they're so cool. Um, so now I'm taking these gears. So I only did the gears that were a little bit on the small side. I fussy cut the gears that were on the small side, and they were like partial gears, and that allowed me to really kind of scatter them and make them an element on this page. Snoopy says hello. So now I'm just going to fidget with embellishments. And I decided I wanted to add some of those these cute little pocket watches, wood veneer pocket watches, um, just to pull in a little more of that wood color. And also, I like the idea of like time passing, and he's a senior, and the circles and everything. So I'm just going to kind of fidget with those a little bit. And I'm going to decide if I want anything else. I'm kind of thinking about it. But... I'm really, really loving how this looks right now. And so I think I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move a couple things around, but in the end, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, attach all of these fun things down. So let's talk adhesives for a minute. These heavy gears, I'm going to attach them using some teeny tiny little glue dots. And they worked the absolute best. Uh, I did this layout a few days ago and they are still nice and stuck down. Um, I did kind of pull, you could see there where if I was kind of pulling the glue dots. So you can kind of take the edge of a glue dot and kind of pull it around. And I did that. I know they make those like glue lines, so that might be a better option if you have them to hand. But if you don't, then just use those and you'll be totally fine. Everything stuck really well. I'm also going to use the glue dots for this big wooden tile because it is quite large. And it also has, like, it's smooth. It's not raw wood. It's, like, veneered. So um, I wasn't sure if the glue would stick it good or not, but the glue dots did really well. And then everything else is just going down with my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And this is where I call this one done. I love how that background came out. I love how um, the, the whole layout came out so beautiful. You will find all the products linked below. And yeah, check out the, some of these products I got because they're really different and super fun to use and unique. And I just had a blast playing with them. Thanks so much for joining me and watching me today. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.